Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy JDRFT and welcome back to another pretty crazy video. Today we're back and better than ever. And today, this is kind of a impulsive video that I wanted to make. I don't know why. I, I was just feeling it for some reason. Like something came up in my head and I was just like, I'm gonna make this video. Okay. I had a conversation like maybe like roughly a year ago with my, my cousin and we were just chilling in my room and he asked me like like a, like a random deep question like out of, out of the blue like where do you think you go after you're gone and I was like whoa okay that was so random because we basically just started talking within that time because he came to Canada so we, yeah we we're just talking and he just said that I was like whoa I mean I'd like to believe in your soul or like whatever like I don't want to get like into that stuff but whole point is, is like I mean I don't know like I, I'd like to hope that good things happen afterwards but then that one thing got me thinking a little bit like the fact that you are going to die eventually is crazy I don't know I, I guess it's like like I'm 20 right now right and for a bit a bit of your life you're just constantly doing something like you're working you're going to school like i don't know you're, you're always doing something so it's like you never really take the time to think that oh it's eventually gonna stop at one point you know because you're, you're just you're just busy like why would you think about that too in the middle of all of it <clears throat> so i'm just like damn what am i doing like seriously like what am i really doing with my life at this moment like yeah i'm, I'm working like part-time i'm going to school for something i don't really care about to be honest and then every hour you know of like a free time i have like i either just scroll on my computer or like hang out with my girlfriend or you know play games like and that's pretty fun like don't get me wrong like i don't regret any of that and i'm not saying it's useless but it, it's just more of the fact that i feel like a lot of us don't really utilize our time to what we could be doing like using our maximum potential and so that goes back to the idea like you only have one life which is just i don't know it's just crazy to think about that you were gonna as as a as a person all your memories are gone after like after you're done you know what i'm talking about like after it's, it's finished like it's done I don't know, it's just weird to say it out loud, but then you would ask, well, you know, like, if we just have one life and we're on this this tiny world, what's the point of doing anything? Well, I have an answer to that as well. Um, when I was in grade nine, one of my science teachers, or one, one science teacher, I think her name was like Miss Khalil or something like that, let's just say that, we were learning about space, and I was like, out of curiosity, because she, she was explaining, like, the whole universe, like, we're a tiny speck in the, the galaxy, whatever the frick. And she was like, or I was like, what's the point of living when we're just this little insignificant piece of speck in, like, space, you know, in this entire entirety of, like, our existence? And she's like, well, the reason why we exist is to create meaning within our own world. And, you know, at first, like, you'll listen to that and you'll hear it and you'll be like, oh, whatever. But, like, now that I think about it, it's, it hits more now that I'm a little older. Like, it's been six years since I was in grade nine. Like, I'm 20 now. I was 14. But it's just, damn. We create meaning within our own world. And that really stuck with me ever since because it's just, like, that is the whole point. Purpose. That's the reason why we, we move, why, why we keep on moving forward, you know, Aaron Yeager, you know what I'm talking about? But it's just, I don't know. And then, like, I guess what how, how I grew up translates into how I view the world now. And that's why I, I think no matter what, like, literally just do what you want. I think that's the whole point. Like, you live once, seriously do what you want. Like, I, I don't even know how to how to put that into, like, more words. Like, just seriously do whatever you want. 
as long as it's not illegal or it's bad or it's harming anyone, if you don't do any of that, you are fine. Literally, you could do whatever the fuck you want, okay? You could leave the country. You can, I don't know, move out, you know, go traveling, start a YouTube channel, start a business, drop out of school and like, I don't know, do whatever you want, do whatever the hell you want to do in the first place, you know, all that stuff. And it's like, we are often thinking about how other people are controlling our lives. Like, for example, like, oh, this person, like, like, I don't know, like my uncle, my dad, my mom, they're telling me, oh, I should do this. But do you want to do it? You, you know, like, do you really want to do it? Or is it just them telling you? Or it's like my group of friends is saying, oh, I want to, like, we should all do this. But you're not really on board with it, you know? Then, then why do you want to do it, right? It's like, I know it's like the pressure of other people and you want to make them happy, but you're not happy. So what's the point of it? You, you know? Like everything just goes back to just live the way how you should be living, create purpose, because you only have one life. You're only going to live once. And that, that's just, that's just crazy, bro. That, that's just crazy. Like you are literally, you are going to die, okay? Everything that you have worked towards is not going to be significant. Like, it, it'll just, it's just done. But the whole point is that you make significance, you create purpose, and you create, you create a goal and a dream so then you continue to live within the time that you are here. Like, does, does that make sense? Like, I'm, I'm not... Okay, I might be yapping right now, but I'm being so serious, like... I feel like we're just wasting our time. We're not really taking into account the amount of, you know, freedom we have, you know? Take, take it in. The chances of you being born are so slim. Like, what is it? Like, one in a trillion. I'm, I'm going to switch it up right now. What are the chances of being born? One in... I don't even know how to read that word. 400 trillion. One in 400 trillion are the chances of you being here. Yet, you are on your couch, I don't know, like, scrolling through TikTok, playing games, like, wasting your time, or just, I don't know, you're just not doing what you should be doing. And I guess, like, what sparked my, my idea to make this video is that I feel like I'm not doing anything either. Like, I'm seriously not, I'm not doing what I feel like I should be doing, like, to my full potential and honestly it's it's uh not nothing about it. it's really demotivating you know that i i know what i could do but i just don't do it and it's just it's, it's just pure laziness i'm being completely honest like i i grew up pretty normally you know i didn't have to worry about too much right but as i grow up i start to learn a little bit more about what i should be prioritizing and that is like obviously working a little bit of school i don't give a fuck about school but that that's i have to prioritize it in a way um, family, friends, girlfriend, I guess that's what creates meaning, but it's just like, I'm just yapping, just do what you want to do, and don't let anyone stop you from doing it, seriously, they are probably going to be like someone insignificant eventually, you know, anyone who's dictating how your life is, they won't be there for what the greatness that comes eventually. But you have to take the chance to block all the negativity and all the people who are going to eventually stop you from doing what you should be doing. And then until then is when you will really start progressing in life. I feel like during my high school time, that was a really big problem where there was a lot of people who kind of dictated how I go about my day and it would affect me but now that i'm out of like the toxicity that high school was i'm more of like a free person you know i think on my own and that's really good like yeah don't, don't get me wrong there's are there are times where i feel like other people think for me and i can't really do things myself but i'm slowly working on that because i know eventually i have to i have to be better as a person like i can't just stay the same way how i was when i was 14 15 16 it's a progression. That's what it's about. You know, that's why we live. We have to progress. We have to evolve. We have to be the better. We have to be better than the person we were before. 
the day before. And until then, that's when you'll really start succeeding. Uh, oh my God, succeeding. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know. That was just, that's crazy. I don't know. I, I just wanted to make this video. I thought it'd be really cool. I hope you guys don't get bored. But I mean, if you stayed this long, I appreciate it. Um, thank you very much for watching. If you guys want to see more stuff like this, just leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.